What's in the box? Presented by Sure It'll Be Grand. And welcome back, everybody, to What's on the Box. And welcome back to David as we plod along. Not plod. No, that's unfair. Andor has been a great little walk in the countryside, really, hasn't it? First hours. It has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's been a lovely stroll. It really has. <laughs> um and you know, I, I was just saying this to you before the episode. Like, you know, we had the heist episode, it was a big deal, lots of emotional things. I thought we were gonna have like a couple of weeks downtime now, things relax, they establish what's next on the agenda. Absolutely not the case. Yeah, we kind of took a shotgun approach and just sh- shot out several things going on, and we're moving things along here. <laughs> quite yeah. a, quite, a, quite a lot to take in. Oh, yeah. And look, we'll get right into it. One thing I want to say, like, it was about 16, 15 minutes before Andor showed up in this episode. They really kind of said, no, we'll get to him, we'll get to him. But first of all, we need to get, you know, to the star um, of the show which is our <laughs> dear Cyril. Um, still yeah. home. Um, his nebulous... With his, with, his, with, his action, with his action figures there on display. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here's his room. Yeah, um, his mother gives out about um, him hemming his shirt because he's acting too eager. Um, yeah. And we hear more about this mysterious uncle who's going to give him a job. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Yeah, look, we'll go a little bit into what's happening in his story. He he's he's not happy taking on the job, but he will because he needs money. And I mean, I imagine rent on Coruscant is disgusting. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't see that being cheap. That don't that looks like a cheap flat. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he goes off to get a cubicle job, and it's interesting. Like he's obviously still quite wound up with what happened because mm-hmm. this boss guy who was with him, and I guess is like find the place for him kind of mentions oh you were on this planet and he says exactly what happened mm-hmm. like like a, like like no one has asked him hey Cyril how are you and it's just him breaking right. up and it's just blasting all the information and look there's this big talk about hey this is just as po- important in the Empire than anything else you know this is, mm-hmm. there's no job that's boring and you see just I mean, it's gorgeously designed but just this dead massive hall full of Little cubicles going on and on and on. And I want to say something before we even get there. Is this the first time we've seen a news report uh, with a news presenter in the Star Wars universe? Because before we, we see we see a dude show up and he's like dressed in, well, I guess what is formal wear, like news reporter wear on the television. And I was just like, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I think that's the first time. I'm isn't trying, I think in that more in that st- in the actual like where it looks like a news report because I want to say, and I I might be pulling something way out of my you know what. Yeah, I want to say at least from a live action standpoint because I think in Rebels I want to say they do kind of they've shown news reports. I want to say it was like one of the early episodes. There's a news report. And I want to say they kind of have a news report ish. Mm. feel to it yeah yeah. but this one but you're right with this one it had that yeah where you actually saw the suit the tie it looked like it felt like you know this is you know kwabc you know it's like yeah yeah. this is you know so we still we got that in the the empire i found it very interesting as well because i just like just the dress like it's not just a straight up Mm -hmm. suit it's like culturally what they wear and it did kind of remind me of what we saw like Palpatine and people in the Senate kind of wear. Mm-hmm. It's that kind of formalness. And I don't know. It's just a nice little touch. Um, but yeah. yeah. But yeah. So we're in this big, massive building full of office cubicles. And the boss does something really weird where he says, yeah, no, I think we can raise that. Like all the stuff he like that went yeah. against him. It's just like, wow. Like, yeah, the Empire really is corrupt. <laughs> like if you can do that yeah. at any level, just like, let's just erase all that. Um, yeah, well, I think, yeah, that was basically, we're just going to, yeah, nobody needs to know that here. So we're not putting this on your record here. Yeah. So if anybody looks, they're not going to see that. See, I yeah, got, I like the little touch. Yeah, I think I got the impression, though, that it's almost like it's across the board wipe because, I mean, they seem to be all in charge of records and where to keep things. Like, this is the heart of oh, bureaucracy, true. you know? So I don't know. Um, But yeah, he he's not too happy. Um, He's still mm-hmm. very much like saying. He's moping. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's moping around. <laughs> and he's very much looking for where Andor is. Like, that's still on his mind. And obviously this mm-hmm. job will get him a bit more of a look into all this. Um, But yeah. I want to then go on and Luthen. Has Luthen. Our, our boy Luthen. Luthen, I love him. He is a prick. He is a monster. <laughs> I love him, but he is he is the villain now. Right? He kind of is. He's you know, he's take he has much more of a darker turn in this episode as we've seen the it, it's much darker turn as we actually see a couple things uh yeah. in, in this episode. Can we talk about the more first- Masma performance when he comes in? And the drivers outside looking in, and they're openly talking about, "Did you do this?" And he's just openly like being his charming self. The thing that he rehearsed in like the second episode or the third episode of this show, and it's so Mm -hmm. engaging. And you can see like she is beyond anger at this point. She has, Mm -hmm. she can't pretend things are fine. So he has her back to him, and that's about all she can do. But he's just like, oh, yes. I love <laughs> so, I, I loved, yeah, his his whole act. It it really, I think it, it adds so much more of by by him doing that so visibly, like he said, where he is, his his expressions are doing one thing, his actions are doing one. And meanwhile, he's spouting out, you know, he actually, I liked how they, at first he is saying it, but he's still doing his ha 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 laugh. Yeah. And then. What did I then, tell you exactly? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's like, you know, especially like drop a, a poof, here's a smoke and he disappears oh yeah he, he acts like a, this magician it really added so much more to his character of you really you don't know if you can trust him honestly you can't I no i'm he's, sorry he's you got, can't <laughs> right and, and that i love the you know uh with my mothma coming in she was angry she's just yeah. like what have you done you were behind this and at first he's just like skirting around it you, you know like as if what are you talking about i don't know yeah oh, oh, oh. until finally you know she realized she's like you really did do this yeah. and then like the veil drops you know and he makes a point that he did this because this is not just like to steal from the empire that's not his point but this mm-hmm. was enough start. for the empire to start t- because at this stage the empire as we know it has been outsourcing things to other little military groups to do its own thing and just kind of been looking after its home territory it hasn't been really like on the surface that have been this dictatorship. It hasn't. Not really. It does everything underneath. It controls things at the bottom. But overall, most people, most systems are like, oh yeah, nothing's changed. This is fine. Whatever. Right. Well, mm-hmm. like they think it's it's more slowly they're they're slowly adding in things and yeah. over time so that there's not this bit it's if you're watching it, you're seeing things are slowly coming in. Yeah. And there was a big there was that initial burst. And then they're just carefully, you're, yeah. you're used to us now. You're used to us now. We're going to slowly this is, take your rights away. But more Luther and more. wants to change that. That's the, that's the best part because Luther wants to mm-hmm. the Empire to overreact. It wants yep. the Empire. And as the Empire does it, stop all sorts of cultural festivals, any local customs, anything that could hide rebel activity across the Galactic Empire. The Empire is coming now <laughs> in to stomp it down. And he hopes there will be rebellion slowly growing from that fire and it, it's it works but he's an extremist he absolutely right. is and now he's manipulating the people as well he's putting the people he wants to rebel and fight for their rights but he's actually putting hardship on them he's potentially killing a whole lot of them as well you right, know which is what even my mothma says right she goes you know pe- people will die because of this I mean, He's just like this is what's necessary. He 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 very much is the extreme. Which I, this is going to be interesting to see in our follow up episodes because we we haven't seen him yet. But as we know from the cast that uh, Saw Guerrera is supposed to be involved, we're going to meet him again Love uh, that in this. And so, which you know, he's on the more extremist side of things. So it will be interesting to see. Are we you know, are we going to really dive into those? Uh, levels or delve into those levels rather mm. of you know of extremists you know of, of, the, of the rebels those of you know who, who's taking it to an extreme and who's really hitting that area you go what this is almost as bad if or worse than what the empire has done in some cases and the big thing is now um because he he seems to be in charge of this at least this splinter group he's mm-hmm. now put a hit on andor Yes, he sees him as a loose threat. That. Like, that, here's the character we're going to see, like, almost 
not fatherly, but enough like saying, look, I see the good in you and I know you want to rebel. And here is a keepsake of mine. You keep it. And you remember what this is for to, all right, we need to wash our hands of him. He's a bit of a loose chain, bit of a loose thread. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I, 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 that's one of those. I say I loved it. I just loved it because it now it it that was the ultimate boom that that dropped the bombshell right there on the character. Or, you know, okay, so but let's chew on this for a second. Who said that? That was the look. That was that was his assist, the, the same woman who's with him, right? That's not a different woman. Yeah, it, it yeah. It's it's, like it's her, a secretary who meets up with uh, Vel. With Vel. Yeah, yeah. Which also, Vel, first Vel, first stormtroopers, I, like, I believe. We've seen soldiers yeah. for the first time in this show um, at this stage. Uh, they're policing the city now. We see loads of people with guns. Like, it, it's a police state now. Just just to keep yeah. that in mind. The, but the interesting thing is seeing uh, her there. So we know, so Vel's obviously made, with that, we see Vel's made it back to, you know, at, and out. But uh, what I found interesting is that, you know, she, of course, she just makes a comment to her saying to Vel, uh, you know, because Vel's like, well, I, I was hoping he would be here, you know, referring to Luthen. She's like, you know, no, he can't be here. So, so you think she you know, might be then, doing some stuff on the side? So that's where I was going with is yeah. saying, ooh, we're leaving it up to debate here of was this really because it, it obviously makes sense for him to for Luthen not to meet up with her to just send and send somebody, send a message. And by the way, kill Cassian. He can again, he's trying to he can di- keep himself distanced. but. One wonders. We already have seen that he's being, you know, that the two of them have been not not at odds, but they're being, you know, hey, you're handling things this way. And yeah, he's already, which which we just saw. He's very questionable of his, um, hmm, I don't know about morals or or what we will call it, with how he's chipped things off. So it seems a bit jarring to me that that he would be like, eh, kill off this loose end. But at the same time, going, uh, you can you can buy it. I could buy that okay. that is what he's thinking, or I could see that she was just telling her that because she's worried for his. It, this is more of a to protect him. Yeah, and she's uh, like that. That's what she's worried that's about. That's an excellent point to bring up because that is the core problem with having Andor life. It leads mm-hmm. him back to him, right? Yep. So we have to now see is Luthen. Does Luthen still very much care about being in the shadows enough? Or Mm -hmm. is it like, again, his secretary, potentially wife, potentially love interest, whoever she is. We don't know much about her. And maybe that's a good point. Fellow conspirator. Yeah, yeah. Um, And honestly, in a way, I actually like that we don't know much about either of them, uh, Mm relationship-wise or personship-wise. Like, they're a mystery, Mm -hmm. even to us, the viewer. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, it's it's a good point. I feel like Luthen sees the value in Andor. I think you might have a point. I think that might be someone else pulling the strings there a little bit. They're, they're, because yeah, they've they've kind of shown enough of the you know uh, of that uh, drama between them, right? Yeah. It was hinted at. So I don't know. I, I think ger- generally it seems like they are being fairly straightforward with stuff. There isn't too much mystery, but hmm. I think that's a good th- that one we we might that I, I'm gonna keep an eye on because. Uh, I don't know. Is he? Is he really? I guess. It, I guess it's more of God. Would he really do that? Would he really? Is he to that level? He's obviously to that level of endangering. Like, say, he's outright. Mm. Let's kick this off. Let's do what we need to because he sees the grand. To him, it's the grand picture, and is willing to sac. I think definitely, we see he's willing to sacrifice people. Absolutely. Yeah. But I just, I, I somewhat feel like he there's would more still to it. see use yeah he would, yeah there's more to it there's something to it because i could see him still seeing there's use out of cassian potentially but mm. i know. just want to kind of jump back to the empire um it's the isb isn't it that's mm-hmm. uh, ISB. Been, yeah okay and we've seen and i'm sorry if she hasn't reappeared that much but we finally see that she convinces uh the man in charge of the isb uh, that Deidre, Deidre, Deidre. yeah, she uh, finally convinces the Sims that hey, look, yes, I went uh, beyond protocol here, but I got the information. I know what we need. We have there, and he kind of loves it about her. He's like, if well, only I, more people cool. did that, look, I, imagine I loved, where we were. I loved, I loved that scene. Well, so this this is linking to what we were just saying earlier, right? The way the Empire is is doing things in that, and, and what. The whole person that we got, we've got Deidre 
looking into things is she sees she goes you guys aren't aren't really looking at the, the big picture you're not you know you think people are just like she she tells them are just to your little confines of your little you know made up yeah. areas and people, I'm a- there's other activities going on and you are not paying attention to that all of this might seem random it's not and that's and what i kind of like going on. because she mentions if a system doesn't change it dies and i think this is the metaphor for they're still acting very much like a collective uh collective groups within a republic that they mm-hmm. have their own little feudal area to look after and no one goes beyond that and everything just feeds up to the empire but that's not it anymore the empire has to be the same across it has to be yes. flat it's only yeah. the empire it's not like local lord does this and that's what's going on here and that's what he's appreciating about her because he realizes mm-hmm. Yes, a system does die if it doesn't change. And the yep. system hasn't changed enough yet from the Republic. And why would it? It's a galactic wide thing. It would take decades for it actually to change completely. But this is where we see the empire yep. that we see now around Luke's time emerging. Right. That's, I think, and I loved, I loved that because especially when, you know, the, she gets put on the spot by the, uh, the other Imperial, um, uh, uh Blevin, you know, he's like, oh, she's she you know, I want to wage charges against her. She's yeah. doing all this stuff. She's data data without request. Um, I love the, and then she's she's starting to chime in with you know her reasoning. And uh, I just love that that uh part of gas turns over, he goes, Thesis, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and that's kind of please. that's the kind of vibe we got of him from um the show so far. He acts more mm-hmm. like a professor. He acts more like a yes. teacher, a lecturer who wants his people to, because he asks one, yeah. the first time we see him, he asks a question about someone and they just feed him back the exact quotations in the book. And he says, no, that might be what's written down, but mm-hmm. we're healers. This is how we actually work. This is how it works in practice. I, I love that they continue in this thing. It, I really am yeah. starting to grow and really growing to love this character because he is he's academic as fuck basically <laughs> you know man is he yeah he yeah. Really, really is i think you're you're putting it on the spot right there he said he's he's very much like a professor he's not just a you know this guy in charge but he's acting like a professor because he's trying to teach it feels like he is trying to teach yeah. these you know students yeah. right and try trying to get them to like no stop stop looking at the books yeah that's the book answer like you said and then he's like pushing on it and he's encouraging like you said and even by saying yeah like thesis please like that's very much yeah. he, this, he's teaching this he's treating this like this is a school the school for the imperials yeah and i guess he has to deal with it because um in general nepotism is huge in the empire so anyone who knows someone gets the job that's how it works so he has yeah. to find the little glittering gems of genuinely talented people and that's why yep. he was even saying to her beforehand, you'll have to work a lot harder than anyone here because you're a woman. You know, it's a big mm-hmm. point made here. So he understands the system. He knows exactly who he wants. And he's sharp. He is clever as hell. I actually want to know what he did in the Republic. Because mm-hmm. how did he get into yeah. his role? For, yeah. yeah, big time. Um, OK, should we go and see where Andor is? Uh, yeah, I think else? Uh, what, what, one last thing before we, I think, jump over finally to Andor. What do you think of the shot? Uh, we see that, you know, so we're kind of playing the catch up of, okay, where where is everybody? And before we get to him, we see that uh, <gasps> oh, Cinta the... is still on Aldani. Yes. So we see that the, the Star Destroyer just oh. looming overhead. And that shot, as it just goes over the sky, her back to, you know, she, 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 she they have it over her shoulder view. If not, that, that, that needs to be a thumbnail, I think. Yeah. No. But okay, we'll make was... it a thumbnail. We'll make it a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I just thought, I just looked, I was like, that this this show has done a really good job about how the ships, how basically how the Empire looks. Yeah. From, you know, how it's like, you know. From the ground uh, up, if you're just an average person. Up. Yeah, yeah, looking up. Yeah, yeah. yeah big like, time. They've done a great job with the TIE Fires, how they came and terrorized you, and then how when the star destroyer comes by like it's already it usually always is you know doom and scary in generally even in space it's scary right it's seen as big but massive you know what's better about the so shot it you know what's great about the shot because we've seen these mountains we know these mountains they they're mountains on earth 
They're very mm-hmm. normal looking things. It's not some weird space cloud or anything like that. Yeah. This is an earthly looking place. She looked mm-hmm. at her clunker of her machine, rusty, yeah. damaged, and she turned up. And this Star Destroyer is literally almost scratching the edge of the mountain as it flies mm-hmm. over. It is, it is, you could almost mm-hmm. feel the weight coming down for you metaphorically as it flies over. I am doing a lot of body language now, which is pointless for a podcast. But you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it, it enforced exactly. such a feeling. It's it was really, and they've done this so well. There's it did the same thing with the Tie Fighters. Like these mm-hmm. things aren't just anymore little cannon fighters that are about to blow up. No, this is a threat. And yes. like if you look at New Hope, we see like the Star Destroyer for the first time, and it's still mm-hmm. such a beautiful shot because it's so big and it just keeps going just on and on and on and on and on. It gets this tiny ship, yeah, the Rebel ship, but oof, yeah, that shot was good. Um. Yeah. yeah, cinematography in this show is great. Really is. And they leave it for specific ones. Not everything, there's not a million tons of CGI yes. in this show, but they leave it for the important parts, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, shall we see what Andor is? So, yes. What, 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 what's going on with yeah. Andor? <laughs> not singing we, we that song speak. again. <laughs> 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 um, he um, is on a planet. Um, I'm going to be honest, maybe I've forgotten. He He's in like I guess a hotel room of some sort with a woman and she's ordering around. No, oh, uh, I'm, I'm that, somewhere else. Oh, that's at the end, that, was it? Yeah, you're Sorry. jumping it. Ah. I'm doing it again. I switch, which is I wasn't sure. Sorry. Okay, no, this, we this he time. rides back home and he's gone to his ma. He finds out Tim, uh, the hot boyfriend of the girl he definitely is in love with. Um, uh, she totally. like he he finds out about that and. He goes, to his, in, yeah, yeah. he goes to his mother and says, hey, you, you are coming with me. Yay, we'll get somewhere nicer. And she's just like, I think she basically said, I'm too fucking old for this shit. <laughs> like, uh, As well, yeah, that's what ultimately it turned into, right? Because it, it was interesting when, you know, he's bringing it up. He knew there's something up when she's not immediately like, yeah, let's let's go. Yeah. He, you know, she's she's like, oh, I'm just tired, dear. Let's I'm just tired. You're like, All right. What's yeah. what's going on? What's going on? But. We get As, some nice uh, flashback yeah. shots in this, though, because we see yeah. um, Andor's adoptive father being shot down on the street. Lincoln, you miss it. Like, it, it, like right. unless you're paying attention to the shows, it, that could have been anyone who was going to be shot. But yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's Andor's father. Uh, stormtroopers are there. Interesting, again, kind of going back that there was there were stormtroopers here, but then they must have come back in and hired these outside groups to look after it. You know, right? I think it seems like that's like the initial sweep, right? The initial takeover. Okay, now we replace. We make sure, yeah. and then we it kind of it, it gives almost like that impression of you know you come in. All right, now you you're spread too thin, right? So you yeah you hire and you make sure you train up, saying hey it needs to be via these ways. You you yeah. know we're hiring you guys on. You take care of it. And maybe now we're gone. maybe, but like look, these systems presumably were part of the Republic at some stage, right? Yeah. So and that you know. Democracy fell with thunderous applause. So, like mm-hmm. all the people who ran these planets before, are actually still running these planets. Maybe that's being slowly phased out. So, I still find it weird that it's the Empire different. had to show up because the Empire just took over from the Republic. Quite mm-hmm. at least on ownership wise, they took over quite quickly. Right. I think it, it probably it, it depends. Right. It depends on what the planet was. What was going on with that planet? Right. Yeah. Was this planet seen more rebellious or more whatever? So you needed a more or, you know, it, how were they deemed? Would, you know, did you felt like you needed to have that empire presence show up and show that face of things but versus the important? Karmic face of things? That's the thing. Is it that important? I suppose you could argue like, so they seem like a junkyard planet, like mm-hmm. ships land there, they take them apart. And it, there was a fairly big movement after the Republic in other canon to take the old ships, take them apart and rebuild yeah. them into the ships we have now. Like, you know, like that's yeah. the thing. The Empire's uh, ships in general, not that great. They are mostly junky things pushed back together, like at the end of the day. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's cheaper. That's why, like for people who don't know, like there were two companies that made the X-Wing and the ones that made the um, T-Fighter. Um, and they chose the T-Fighters because they were cheaper and they could make more of them. And that's all the Empire cared about. We need more. Whereas the X-Wing beats TIE Fighters so easily out of 
you know, a crazy level. Like they're muscle cars. We talked about this in a few episodes ago. But they're muscle mm-hmm. cars compared to the TIE fighter. So I guess maybe it's important that they needed a place to take apart old junky things and rebuild them somewhere else. Maybe that's the purpose of it. And, you know, we see some older ships there. So we see uh, ships from the Clone Wars um, being used yeah. to get into orbit and all that. So I guess, yeah, maybe. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, but he's asking his mother to come along with him, and he takes a bit of a trip around uh the town as well. Um. Mm-hmm. He has to go see. He's got to go see his girl. Got to go yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It's it's a bit a bit sad that like mm-hmm. he didn't say, "Hey, I'm sorry to hear about Tim." Yeah, I mean, because you could see, obviously, she was, you know, she was still, you know, bruised and beaten from yeah. from what the uh Imperials did, and yeah, you she's she seems very much uh you know with 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 the betray with what the loss of tim i guess basically between the fact of that he did that and then he died got you know got killed right in front of her uh there's a very much uh you you see there's a part of her ripped out like she's very much she's changed she's not she's not that same same person he left interesting um i'm not sure how many credits did uh he uh, get for the job again was it about twenty thousand, something like that? Two hundred. Well, let's see, because I think he said what the uh, which might call it the Kyber was worth. I think they said like two hundred thousand. Okay. He was. It's kind of like a down. They said it was like kind of. Like, he said it was kind of a down payment. Okay, so fair enough. It was. So you got to think he has at least that. Um, especially when he was able to was it when he wanted the ship the the doctor's ship i think he says 30,000 credits for it or something like that yeah, that's yeah. twice the value so so you know he's already thinking he can spend off 30,000 so he's got his his portion has got to be you know a good chunk he's yeah. got a lot of credits because we get a bit of a um moment where he just says to her at the end said look uh i'm leaving 20,000 uh, credits here that should pay off that's, any debts yeah, yeah. and that's interesting it's 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 i think it's important that they made that distinction that like we get kind of a vibe in the first two episodes he's kind of a run around to kind of shirks mm-hmm. responsibility but he's not he 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 is a person that will pay back the favor he will do the right thing and right. You know, he pays back his debts um so yeah he uh, leaves his mother for about a night and says hey just get ready i'll be back to you all this uh, also i want to say um like What's the role? But again, two Bimo, wasn't it? Yeah, emo. Yeah, two yes, emo. I love, I loved. Him. Yeah, uh, but he's emo. he's basically the dog, I think. You know <laughs> exactly. He's was, he was not like a little sad pup. Like he was at first a happy puppy when he's see, when when Cassian first yeah, shows up. Yeah. He's like, oh. It's like you can hear like, yeah. you know, kind of like skidding around, <laughs> and like I have a, happy taps. <laughs> and I hate to say it, but this show is definitely going to kill it. They're going oh, to yeah. kill the puppy. They're going to kill the dog. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Not nice. Um, but yeah, uh, he tries to, um, you know, to get her going. And eventually she just said, look, um, I need to make a stand here. Even even in a mm-hmm. very passive way, even things, she can't just run and abandon people or like let the Empire do what it wants wherever it goes. So she's staying here and she's not moving. And she respects what Andor's doing now. She's saying like, I get it. This is your path and I respect it. But, you know, mm-hmm. this is my place. This is where I'm going. She doesn't want to leave the planet where yeah. her husband died. She wants to stay here because she, I guess she wants to be close to it. Like there's, she's a person of an older age who realizes, look, there's not big, massive star fighting futures ahead of her. But right. she can do what she can do for her own self. And I respect that. Right. Well, I think we saw we see that the combination of what went on. She was all she is. She you know, she revealed. She goes, yeah. This whole time she's been thinking about you know the empire and what's going on with what they did to yeah. to her husband. So it's always on her mind. You know, she avoids a certain area because that's where the troops are. That's where he he was left hanging. So yeah. obviously, you know, this has always been there. She just may not talk. She doesn't yeah. talk about it. And I want to say, now, Adria between, Arjona, the actually sorry, it should be just a fantastic role because i mean for myself the only exposure i've had to her was in the harry potter's movies as harry's aunt mm-hmm. but she is right. so good in this so subtle and heartbreakingly good in this you know oh yeah i, I loved I, I really loved this character i loved mm. her acting in this because yeah especially when, when it came to this part this part here really emphasized all of that and how you know it was the events that 
subsequently have just happened, right? Between the fact of when and with what Andor already kicked off there at home and she saw the troop, you know, troop activity. And then with what she, you know, she goes, Oh, you hear what happened on, you know, on Dari. And, you know, gosh, if somebody can do that, just, just imagine what's, what's going on. Yeah. And which I, you know, I can tell, try, try to watch, are they trying to hint at she knows he was involved with that or that she's I, just saying, she is just saying look, that. I think at the end of the day, that's her son. She, yeah. she knows her son. She knows. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, she, he says something interesting that hasn't really been brought up a lot. She said, look, uh, the thing about love is that you'll always worry about the people who aren't around. But mm-hmm. she also then says, give up on your sister. And that's something we haven't heard. Is it? If I, unless yeah. I'm wrong. Uh, well, she remember, he that was what he, the first episode, right? Yeah, the first that's episode we see that. Told. But like since then, there was no mention of we haven't heard, the sister. Right. We haven't heard anything. Yeah. So finally, when she's making that comment saying, give up. Because nothing was left after after you left and whatever yeah, what mining that mean? accident. Again, this this mysterious mining accident where again touching upon something happened yeah, on this. But planet. here's the thing. We there's still children down there. Did something else happen as they left that wiped out all the children well, as well? well? That's what that's what we're that's what we're So the mining accident is, post. is post us being on the planet. It's post, right. We're, it's but not it definitely before. was a mining accident before as well. There was definitely a mining accident oh, before. I, there was so it seems like there's something, right? Because it's just these kids. So yeah, yeah. something it's it's again who are these kids uh, or are they the workers kids and these are just whatever right we we're not clear on this oh, that's gonna be in the books at some stage i know it. it's gotta be yeah there's gotta <laughs> be but yeah as we're as as what they're saying it sounds like is that the mining accident was after and or left and that's what obliterated the area yes so, yeah for her it, it still seems a little sketchy the way she says it she's like just tell them give up on it because it sounds like I think saying they're they're trying to hint that there's something else going on about she yes. knows what really happened to his sister and it's probably it's is it is it something that she goes it would get him he wouldn't like or or is it something that would get him in trouble you know that he would try to uh, go after further what's yeah. the, what's what is it that she feels there's there's something there I think I I think the biggest thing is that she wants him to just move on. She really yeah, she doesn't like, even want him to think about her. I think at this stage, right. she wants just get as far she away. Just, yeah, she says, "Look, if you want to keep worrying about your sister, because look at this stage, he probably doesn't even remember his sister all too well. It's it's a lifelong mission because he was what mm-hmm. ten years old. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah, quote. I'm doing the air quotes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but let's move back to um, Mothma because she's mm-hmm. having a little soiree with. That her husband organized and yes. she's talking to again this to, they, they're doing this thing where they're doing everything in public but they're acting like they're doing something completely different it's just and she okay because let's get into it because this is some cool stuff like already we've mentioned Palpatine um, with um, the ISB um, she yeah. said look the, uh, Palpatine told us that he has a complete back and will be in charge of controlling things, blah, blah, blah. And now we, at the end of this scene I'm about to mention is we get another Palpatine mention because Mothma, man, Mothma, uh, Moth, Moth, sorry. Uh, uh, Mon, let's call her Mon, okay? Let's call her Mon. Mon. Yeah. Right. Hey, uh, she, hey, like I mentioned, she had a little soiree. She's walking around and she meets her old friends. Tar, was it Tan? Uh, Tay. Tay. Tay Coma. Tay. Tay. Yeah, just uh, Tay. Like, the, it's like Taylor, a cup but just of tea. Tay. Little cup of tea. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, tay. she's she's talking to him um, and she starts t- prying because she needs him. She wants access to mm-hmm. her money um, because yeah. it's things have become difficult to get access to, you know? Right. And he says, yeah. No. And then she starts prying for it. Like, what's your political views? How are you doing? And he kind of goes like, Oh, you wouldn't like me now. I make allies with people outside of the empire. You know, literally saying, I'm a big old rebel. Uh, but yeah. he, uh, and she's I, just I like, Yeah, he's basically, basically saying, I'm a big old rebel without even saying, but it's yeah. like, boy, he's actually, it's funny, he acts like he's trying to be like all like, Oh, my, I'm, you know, you're around a bunch of empire people. And I, you know, it's yeah. like, he's acting like I'll say, but he's like really very blatantly, I'm a rebel, basically, yeah. you know. Really. And he, like, he's telling her all this, like, he's saying, oh, you, I've changed so much, you wouldn't even recognize mm. some of the things. It's like, he's saying that without even thinking for a second that, yeah. you know, the, the boot fits on the other person as well. Um, 
because she starts saying things like, yeah, no, I've learned stuff from Palpatine, mm-hmm. you know, and I, I yeah. love that. You know, yeah, I love, I love the cop. And she's like, yeah, the, the, you know, keep on, keep on seeing that the stone in your hand. While meanwhile, you got the knife to their throat. You yeah, know? And and throat. I, I love yeah. that she's looking at her enemies and is learning from them. And saying, no, we, we right. need to, because that's the whole point of this series. It's all about how can you have a truly justified rebellion that doesn't harm the people that's rebellion for, rebelling for, mm-hmm. you know, yes. and. She does this whole thing again. Okay, smile, smile. We're just talking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's smile. talk about stupid show from the past and all this kind of stuff. And her husband eventually comes up to her and says, oh, can I borrow her back? And her daughter has been a moody teenager saying, oh, can I be excused from this yeah. party? And all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I loved it because this is like, Mon, we don't really see her that much. Like we've seen her things in like Rebels, but in general, she shows up what three or four times in the Star Wars universe, at least the movies yeah. wise. Yeah, and now, just... yeah. Um, now we actually have someone who's in charge and manipulating, and she's terrified. She is terrified. She uh, she thinks all hell is set loose, and she'll be in trouble soon, and they'll find her and all this kind of stuff. Um, so she has to bureaucrat her socks off. Right. I think know? that was that's what was beautiful. I think well, it it made it. It shifts it a little bit here because as she she says, you know, look, I've got, you know, the, the agents looking at me. I've got the driver is, you know, is is there. She goes, I want them to be looking at me. Like she goes, I'm intentionally doing things because they need to, you know, keep keep their eyes on me. Yeah. In that they need way. to have suspicions on me, but not the suspicions right. I actually want. want. Yeah. Right. Make them think they're for other reasons not knowing what I'm really doing. It's like, ooh, that was that was a good like I like that I like that she's like, no, I'm doing this intentionally. Yeah. And she is playing a fine line. Do you think she's though? Do you think she is or do you think it's her way of because she is shitting herself when she's talking to Luthan, right? She is absolutely like, what are you doing? Like almost like I can't deal with this. I'm being attacked from all corners. Like what are you doing? Ah uh, but here she wants someone to be her ally and suddenly she's very competent and says, Oh no, I'm doing this on purpose. Oh, I, I, I this is all been planned. I, I think we're, we're more so I, I get the feeling more. So we're seeing very similarly with what we're seeing with Luthen. It's these are people who are playing, who are just able to play both, both sides. So who's so she just, playing though? That's a question. Is she playing her friend where she is, actually hiding that she's terrified and not knowing what she's doing or is she lying to Luthen acting like a nervous wreck who can't deal with this but in reality it's like oh I got your number boy you better be careful right. you know and and I, I lean towards I mean we've seen how stoic like over you know with a little bit we see well, she's stoic she's strong yeah. she's you know, with with those hints of emotions right uh, so uh, it's I like to err on the side that she's confident. She knows what she's doing. And right. with Luthen, she's just temporarily flustered, you know? Yeah, I think we see we see a lot that there... It, it feels a little bit at times... Why, why I lean more towards it that way is because at times they're showing things that make it seem like she's more, like, scared about something. Or, like, there's those concerns going on. Yeah. Um, and it's like, mm, I don't, I'm not sure that that's exactly this character... But she's going to get it off when when needed. And she could have reality, both. She's, she could do both. She could be completely I think the rea- terrified. I mean, the reality is probably like some yeah, some yeah. degree, but I don't think she's quite as scared yeah. as she let on. As she lets on to Luthen, which is interesting. I mean, she understands Luthen and wants mm-hmm. him to think that she is not as in control as she actually is. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think it's? I think it makes it makes him show his hand. Yeah, right. it does. It and, be doing so, if you think it makes you think, oh, I can. Yeah, and also seeing her as helpless from Luthen's angle means that he's not even considering the fact that she is going to make other allies now, try to get money, and like maybe do things away from him because Luthen is dangerous. He is an extremist in the rebellions now. Again, I want to know yeah. what's going on because, like, right now he just seems like a bit of a lunatic who's getting his rocks off. You know what I mean? Like he he's he's loving it. He is loving it. Yeah. But like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I want to know what 
what made you this way? What are you? Because I love him. I, 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 like I said, like I think he's my favorite actor in the show, and I think he may just be my favorite character in the show. You know? Yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, that's why you get you get legend like him in it. It's just you can't help but that he steals a show. That's but exactly it. It's what's what's the history? We really would love. I, I can't help but expect we're going to see, we we are going to get some, but it's going to be more of him telling a fluff tale of something, right? Yeah. And then and it's like the reality is no, it's not that. But yeah, I, want um, to, I definitely want. I, I want to see more. <laughs> all all yeah. I want is more with him. Uh, definitely, I think this episode by itself has just like laid the grounds for such bigger things that the first four episodes didn't touch. And that's not a bad thing about the first four episodes. The first four episodes were giving us pure character development, really understanding Andor at his core, you know, what he's about, what the rebellion is like. It, it makes a squeaky clean scene where we see Luke uh, watching um, Mothma or, um, you know, I think maybe it's the guy, the big beardy guy instead, uh, given the direction of how to destroy the Death Star. Oh, it yeah, actually, yeah. Like from that, oh, we're a plucky young rebellion and we'll win the day to we are just about surviving. This is oh, hard. Man. We have lost things. Not like I could take the Empire on by myself. Woohoo! <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, I like, I like to imagine, like, when we see him jumping into the plane saying that shit, there's just like mm -hmm. a bunch of like Andor like characters around going, motherfucker. Eyes rolling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. Um, uh, is it now, like, yeah. is it now time for? And or to go to sexy planet. <laughs> okay, I love that. Yeah, I love the fact of yeah. It's like then all of a sudden, you know, cut 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 to sexy planet time. <laughs> yeah, and again for the longest time, I wasn't sure when this was set. I thought it was like maybe a flashback or something, but right. um, yeah, he's on this um, I don't want to say beach like planet because um, or beach area at least. He's, it's it's not a beach though. It's just a concrete. Thing with steps oh, to people and sit. There's water, there's yes, water. but you need more than water for a beach. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's water and sand. It's a there beach. There is no sand. Water. There is no sand because they're all That's sand. Like. I just saw was no sand. Because I, was, I don't think so. I think it was just concrete blocks that people sit at and, and looked at. If you want, you can look for sand right now while I talk about it. <laughs> oh, it was like, well, I think only because it looked uh, maybe the rocks were just tan, but because that's why we have like shore troopers yeah. in the tan in the tan. Um, you know that is armor. true. That's so true. It was blending in with with that, so I thought that that looked like maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it I saw more people easily, sitting. It easily went concrete. Yeah. It easily went concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw I saw more people sitting on concrete slabs, looking out with like wind protectors out at the sea. <laughs> um, Again, which I kind of like the idea of makes the whole thing feel a bit more artificial. But anyway, he is um, in a hotel room, I assume. It's, I don't think he owns the place. And I don't right, think... Okay. Yeah, and he's pretending to have a shower because he's actually hiding right. a box just above the shower and going through it and all that kind of stuff. And he's with this woman, a gorgeous woman, uh, who's telling him... I'm going to be honest, I, I drowned out what she was saying, but she was just telling him to do stuff, I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, we, want this. we need that yeah yep. yeah and he's like yeah 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 and he's just touching the water he's like okay yeah all right i'm ready to go and he goes out to the seafront and i kind of i'm confused by most of this um is he meeting with someone he does he have plans that's what we're not see that's what was questionable and i'm wondering if there's something edited because it felt like we missed a little bit of something there was a flow issue here yeah but we see that as he's you know he's leaving so it's like all right so he's going to be up to something because he's trying he is being secretive there's something there's a reason he needs to head out yeah um, because he and yeah because he's running uh, like he sees some other people running and he's kind of looking at them going huh fair enough and he's kind of jogging along he's not running running he's not like terrifiedly running and he he's trying to get into some sort of Bar party area. Yeah, he's heading, he's heading towards something. Yeah, that yeah. looks like he's looking around. Yeah, though. yeah. And we guess a shore trooper, as some people are calling them, um, who I guess racially profiling him, and that's not something like too like joking about. But it's, it's genuine something that happened in the show already when they were looking for Andor on mm -hmm. another planet. They they mentioned racial profiles, and I mean, I guess this is look. I'm I'm a white dude, so I've never had problems, but. It's very much a stereotypical cop asking 
why are you running? And he says, I'm not running. And he's just explaining that like, he's just going for a walk. I don't know who it is. Oh, were you running after your friend? It's like, I don't don't know what you're right. saying. Like we, we see a group of running by which yeah. the same those are like yeah, you know, which we don't get an explanation about what's going that something occur. We just see that they're chasing after people. So something's going on. Is this part of are we hinting at because this is part of the Empire crack well, we already heard before, right? And as we see in a minute, is that you know they've cracked down on they've raised all crimes and saying basically you know, anything you do, we're going to be coming anything at Anything cultural, even, they said. Mm-hmm. Anything cultural that could hide people. And there was a party there, I think, in the building that he wanted to get to. And, I mean, that's a cultural thing, and it's somewhere yeah. you can hide. You know? But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, again, I, I think this is, has, like, parallels to, um, you know, I think, in a lot of ways, America, uh, and uh, racial absolutely. profiling, and that kind of shitty, awful crap. Um. And he gets thrown in front of a judge. And yeah. Oh, well, before, before he does, I love. Oh yes. Yeah, sorry. I keep, those, those why do I keep skipping the important shit? Yes, <laughs> there is a KX droid. Yes, um, we get it's the K two S O. Yeah, well, K two S actually multiple K two S O S. Yes, we see we see one in the background throwing people around. Yes, exactly. We do. Um, and they just keep on coming out of nowhere. Like there's like three or four of them suddenly all over the place. Yeah, but. He misunderstands, but even though I think it's just um, how they programmed uh, the droids, and mm-hmm. he just starts strangling uh, Andor against the wall, and yeah. he says, "Please, pre-. Again, but like I don't, I don't want to make jokes, but it's again, it's one of those things, those horrible stories about please get off my back, I can't breathe." It's, yeah, it's a parallel they're, to they're, this, you know. There, there being a lot of su- subtle and not so subtle parallels. Yeah, I yeah. Think it, it worked well with this because as we see. We we've seen where K two S O will take things, you know, either literally or, figure, or tries to understand. Goes, I don't understand humans, you know. No. You know. And so. again, I guess this is the whole thing about, you know, the 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 idea now of cops in America. And look, let's be real. There's plenty of reasons to believe this. That cops either shoot or they run, right? Mm-hmm. That they're very black and white in what they do. And this is, I think, was what they're trying to do with these droids as well, and especially oh, what yeah. they did with the short trooper. But yes, then he gets thrown in front of a judge. And I think, I don't think he's even like being really accused of anything specific. It's just they like. Just said, yeah, they just said civil, civil disruption. Yeah. Right? They just said purely, they said, uh, what was it? He, uh, this is something running, running for, you know, uh, doing this to that, and then ultimately civil disruption. So basically something that was pretty minor and even. Like six it's, months like, tops kind of thing. Right. You know? And they're like, oh. Empires change things at six years. Clang. Yeah, and I think he doesn't realize that first. Wait, wait, hold on. Six. Wait, six years. <laughs> you know, he, he like, and she says something interesting. Take it up with the em- emperor. Yeah, take it up with the emperor. Which yeah. actually makes me feel like the judge probably doesn't like doing this. Now she was very like dismissive of it, but mm-hmm. I think she's just like, I this is my job now. I just have to do it, or I'm in trouble. And she's like, look, take it up with the emperor. I can't do much with you. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure where all this is going because now he's going to be in prison, or he's going to be he's, signed up to. He's in the process of being. He's in the process of being dragged off to prison. It'll be. I mean, yeah. nothing's saying that. Hey, we need a few more people. The stormtroopers want to sign up. You know, stuff like that. Like, um, but yeah, that's kind of the end of the episode. But plenty yeah. in so there. Guess, where where do we think we're we're going with this? Right, because he's getting dragged off. We know that. Uh, Vel has been given the order, you know, to to go find him and kill him. Yeah, take him out. He's a loose end. So, so if she's going to hold, so if she's going to follow the orders, that means she's going to go try to hunt him down. Well, he's going to be kind of somewhat easy to find now. He's he's been thrown in, if he's being thrown in prison. Granted, he gave the name what Keith. <laughs> he's Keith. That's like Keith, but with teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Keith. Yeah, yeah. It's Keith. Um. So. You know, now if he, if indeed, depending on the next episode, are we going to be how much of a continuation? If we're going to be an immediate, or it's going to be just yeah, six years in, later kind of thing? Yeah, you know uh, how much? Uh, yeah, it can't be six years later because then it would be getting into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like Luke Skywalker rips open his cell. I've come to save you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Alternate timeline. Yeah. So. It Aren't we... you the short for a short trooper? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, will this be that she's going to find out where she is? Is, is this going to be she's going to rescue him out of the cell? I think it's going to uh, be a moment just... where she has to decide. She'll be there saying like, which way am I going? Am I doing what I am told that I think is wrong? Because she mm-hmm. does. She doesn't want to kill Andor. She doesn't. This is one of those jobs that she doesn't like doing and thinks is wrong. Yeah. But Or, will she, yeah, like you said, will she save him? Will she take him out there? And then who is the enemy? Luthan. Yeah. Yeah. So and maybe, are, are we going to, are we going to, now we're going to get into that spiral of, you know, Luthan's the enemy to him. Will he, you know, is that going to spin into something? Will Luthan know, find out that, you know, Andor's still alive and, uh, or, you know, will they find out he's still alive and we're going to see again, is Luthan really behind this, you know, him, him to take him out? Here's my guess. I think Vel is going to find out about Mon. And I think she is going to go to Mon, who now has money, who can organize her stuff now by herself through Vel. Vel is going to be her second in command. She can now bypass. Uh, yeah, and I think this is where we're going to start seeing, because in Rogue One, it very much seems like she is in charge, Mon. Like she mm-hmm. is like organizing little teams and all that. And how is Luthen's going to feel about being cut out of this thing that he has like garrulous laughter over he loves this he is satisfied by this at like a hunger level and suddenly mon comes around i have my own money i'm gonna make my own team you're a psycho i'm gonna put you out to pasture what's he gonna do what's the secretary gonna do or you know Wherever she is. Right. Is, there, is, is there going to be a sabotage, will he sabotage that? Or, I think you know, he is. Just, I, just, for, I, just, for, just for the sake of doing it in such a way, too, that he goes, it'll just encourage his greater thing because it'll be something with the Empire if it screws them over as well. Man has an eagle the size of a planet. I feel like he's going to be pissed off as hell. Yeah, so I think we're going to, we're definitely going to see. This feels like it is heading towards a kind of battle of the of Luthen and, and Mon, and there's going to be something. I get the feeling he's... Yeah, he's gonna get taken out. <laughs> Something, something's gonna take him out. Yeah, because of it. Yeah. Uh, I do want to go back uh, to our doctor on the planet, and she saw the star destroyer. That was a very interesting clip that we see. We saw her. She she's okay. Mm-hmm. She's still on the planet. That she is on the planet with the star destroyer. Yep. Do you think we're gonna have some storyline from her on that planet in the next few episodes? We might. We need to. So that that's uh, that that could be the other segue, right? Because obviously, Vel, you know, Vel and Cinta are and I, they're they're together in some yeah. way. There's feelings, right? So is she going to try to go go to her? Is she going to hear? Because because already they stated this. She's like, "Oh, well, have you heard from Cinta?" She's like, she's "Like, no, she's doing what she's supposed to, yeah. uh, which is not communicate." Blah blah. But is Vel going to get nervous because of the Empire? She's going to hear something about the Empire has. Taking over that planet, you know, they said they rounded it's up gonna be loads of the news people. from that planet. It, it might be so, all fake news. Ugh, I hate that I said that. It might all be like not real news uh, because they, they might propaganda. Something to get yeah, right. So, will she be meet? Will she try to go back there? You know, worried? Is there? Are they going to meet up somewhere else? Uh, you know, is she going to be in trouble? And then they're going to go get get Andor. These are the these are the questions. But I feel like, I don't feel like I feel like her her story is not over yet. She's going to be whether. She's getting off planet, or Vel's going to go after her first to try to rescue her. What storyline is left on that planet? I think just her, just the fact of her, just her. Yeah, maybe she. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're not even halfway through yet. There's, there's still plenty of space right. for more yeah, of her character like, to be des- uh, made. Like you know, so yeah, I feel because like, I feel like uh, this gives me the feeling so far the the characters were <laughs> were or unfortunately going to probably see a lot more we're going to see a few more people uh, i'm wondering if we're going to see all, all of the crew get killed in some way over time here i don't I mean, think it's going to end with 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 them uh to get like i think andor's is going to be it at the end you know besides andor yeah. mon, mon and and saw guerrera because they all have to well they all have to be able to survive to make it to rogue one yeah. but i think everybody else is going to be a snip 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 di- dial on the way yeah. And like that's uh, that's a thing we can ask ourselves as well. Like we are guaranteed that um, Andor is going to survive, so mm-hmm. Vel doesn't kill him. We know this, right? One hundred percent. There is 
like on this what we found and or secret twin on that planet and he he went through the same hardship and everything's okay or, you or, know? Or, or, or she or she she does kill him but they they pull a kind of a boba fett they drag him over to the back to tank and they just throw him oh, into, i hope not you know, that was like the worst part you know, about boba fett you know. <laughs> the back to tank uh scenes were just oh i don't know <laughs> There's, i i I didn't hate uh, the Wolf of Head show, but it, it had its flaws, I think is fair yeah. to say. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that for now. Yep. Uh, folks, do you have any theories, anything you notice that we haven't? Um, what was that spear thing Luthen held? I feel like that's, like that whole shop is just reference central. Like that has to be something, right? Um, oh yeah, every 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 single item. I always have to go back and either rewatch it or have to look up, being like, "What is it?" There's so many little things. And the worst thing is, um, because um, Star Wars has been in different media's and different like artistic styles, oh, yeah. you have to translate it to like live action style. Like, okay, that's what that is. All right, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, folks, uh, that's it for me, and David. I believe for now. That's it. Yeah. Folks, we'll talk to you next week. Uh, let us know what you thought of the episode. Um, let us know if we got something drastically wrong, which I most certainly probably did. Um, but yes, uh, talk to you then, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 What's in the bus?